Hey, Rising Church, hope you guys are having a great week so far with your Grove and that you've had some good discussion. Uh, welcome to week six as we dive into to Luke chapter 16, 17, and 18. Uh, I do kind of want to talk a little bit about the questions you just, just asked each other, and hopefully you share this question. But uh, when you were a kid and you did all that candy trading with all your friends or your neighbors or your brother and sister, and you would try to, to kind of trade in all the nasty candy that you hated, all the, for me, Almond Joy and Mounds and all that kind of gross stuff. Uh, Kimberly loves that stuff, but I think it's disgusting. Uh, so I would always trade those ones because I didn't want them, and I'd always try to get the good stuff, you know, like um, Nestle Crunch or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Those are like the primo ones. And, and I think it relates a little bit to what we're reading in Luke because I feel like a lot of times with Jesus, we, we, we kind of have these certain stories or parables that we really, really like and that are repeated over and over and over again. Everybody loves the parable of the lost son or the prodigal son, and people like certain ones, the parable of... Um, the good Samaritan or whatever. And, and so we kind of, those are the primo ones and the ones that we don't get, we don't like, we just kind of want to toss toss away, get rid of, uh, give to somebody else. And and I don't know if you've noticed or not, but Jesus seems to have a lot of those over the last couple of weeks where you just read it and you're like, what? Uh, that, that seems kind of like a difficult thing or I don't really get what he's saying or what does that mean or why would he say that or why would he be so harsh? Uh, and it kind of relates to me a little bit about what we've been talking about on Sunday mornings when it comes to, to Jesus equals God and Jesus equals human and, and who do you say Jesus is. And we talked about this in, in my grove last week came up this idea that uh, we kind of try to put Jesus or God in these boxes that we can control and we can handle. Um, and so a lot of times we'll say, hey, God is love. And so we will only say God is love, but we won't look at the other side of it, his character. And we try to put him into one kind of area with to the neglect of the other areas. And so we kind of do that with Jesus, where we say, well, Jesus is just love. He's supposed to be nice. He's supposed to be kind to everybody and, and all that. But then you start reading some of the things he's been saying, and you're like, well, that doesn't add up. It doesn't seem to make sense. And so we do just kind of trade off the stuff that we don't like or that we don't get, and we just try to get rid of it. And, and I think there's something in there for us to, to grasp. And so I guess I just want you to think about Jesus being a little bit more complex than just you know, one side of his character. And I think that's what we've been seeing over this week as you look at chapter 16, 17, 18, and you look at some of these parables, and you got to go a little bit deeper. And what, what's he trying to get to? What's his point? Uh, because at first glance, it just seemed kind of unpleasant. I mean, you got this shrewd manager, you know, parable in chapter 16 about, you know, kind of this seems like he's doing something dishonest, but then he's being commended. Uh, so what's Jesus's point? What's he trying to say? And you really got to look at kind of Jesus' summation after the story, after the parable, and see what is exactly is he saying there. Um, for instance, in that one, he says, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much, and whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. Um, and I think he's trying to tell us something about how we handle our stuff or how we handle responsibility or what he's entrusted to us, whether that be money, whether that be our kids, whether it be uh, gifts and talents and abilities he's given us. Um, so I really think that's something that you guys should talk about. What, what, what is Jesus saying there? It is a little bit uncomfortable there. It is a little tough. Or the story about the rich man Lazarus and this kind of odd story about, you know, one man in hell and the other one in heaven. And, you know, Abraham goes to the one or and says, hey, can you send somebody to my family? And, you know, what, what is that all about? What is Jesus trying to, to get across to his listeners um, through these stories? Uh, what's, he, what's he trying to get across when he, when he tells a story about the Pharisee and the tax collector and this Pharisee who, you know, is thanking God that he's not like one of these tax collectors and the tax collector who comes before God and is just completely humble and, and says, I'm not worthy of anything. And, and why does that person commend it? Why is the tax collector commended? You know, talk about these things. What's the deeper significance? Don't just read over the story and think, oh, that's just unpleasant. That's harsh. Just get rid of it. Uh, try to really sink into it and figure out what what is what is Jesus talking about discuss it in your groups and figure out what you guys think I think the, the difficult part for us when it comes to Jesus is again we try to put him in a box and we try to say he's only love or he's only kindness or or grace and Jesus is, is multifaceted and so I think we start to see that here in Luke where we're getting to see uh, the other side of Jesus I guess if you want to say that the the more difficult side the, the side that maybe gets a little upset or annoyed or, or even angry um, and that's okay. It's okay for Jesus to be human because Jesus equals human. He wasn't some emotionless uh, person just walking through uh, pretending to be human. And so I guess as you read these, I just really want you to struggle with them and to really think through them. So hopefully you guys will have some discussion, some really lively discussion as you uh, toss around these ideas, talk about what Jesus is saying and really try to, you know, it's okay if somebody disagrees with you, but just think about what, what he's really saying. Try to figure that out and try to 
sharpen each other when you have these discussions. So hopefully you'll have a great time today. Enjoy it. And we'll see you next week.